Hi everyone. This is a video about this uh, Panasonic Panasonic uh, RQ SX15, which is very tiny. Just look at the size of this in comparison to a cassette tape. And this is without the box. If I put this in this box is going to be more or less the same size as this more or less give and take a little bit but this one is one of the very thinnest one and it takes battery here as well and those battery compartments if i have one i'm going to look for it and i show you it's just the screws in here and that's really it and the battery that is taking is just here this is in relative good condition but unfortunately there are some scratches some here is not dented or anything it's just you know discolored and you know rubbed off a little bit and then on this side is a little bit of you know mark here other than that is in great condition I put the battery in there and I'll show you and this one it takes uh, in line <coughs> sorry about that something is in there just a second actually it wasn't anything in there it's just that metal that it contacts the re inline remote and here on this side we have uh, the sound quality of SXBS uh, and what is that? Train. Oh, it is making it louder for the train. And with this size, it has a Dolby NR as well on or off. It is on in off position and the volume. And then here we have the auto reverse off and on. That's it. It 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 you know plays two sides and then off or continuous uh, side A side B side A side B and it takes one of these gum stick and positive here negative down there and you just put it in there and i have to tell you this is panasonic that if the belt is going to uh, need to be changed you need a soldering gun and you have to unsolder the backboard as well if i have an image uh, on my uh, uh, in my gallery I show you and it has two lenses here which makes these two a little bit bigger when they are turning for instance look this one is really good it shows both of them but Sony it shows half of this you know and a little bit of on the top but this one you know it just shows you know like human beings just two of these that you need to see in order to know which direction is going but sony is going to show it like this or like that and you know it's, it's ridiculous this is I, what i like about this one anyway the battery is in there and let's put a tape in there this tape and play do you see what i mean you, you can clearly see in there which direction is going and which side is fuller than the other for instance this is the the way to feed it is head down first okay and if for instance going to this side you can see that it's turning like so because the head is down here so the direction is really easy to know anyway and you play it let me just connect it oh 
Okay. This one suffers from a little bit of noise, if you can hear it. Let me turn the volume down a bit. Can you hear it? But it works perfectly with no problem at all. And it has all the queuing business and you know, stop, forward. Rewind. And then play. And then Q as well. It has the Q as well. Let's Q rewind. You see there is a beep. Goes to the beginning of the song and then plays it. And it has a hold button here to avoid accidental touches here. And then the Dolby, where was it? This is off. Let me just give a little bit more volume. And then This is X bass. Come on, play. And this is train. And this is one of the oldest of Panasonic's SX series. This is one five. And it has 10 X05, X0, X, SX0, and then S came later on as well. But this one is not bad. Let me just. Sometimes when you move it, it just doesn't like it. Okay, what are you doing, man? Let me see what's going on here. Because it, you know, they, they've been in storage for a while and, you know, I think it needs a little bit of attention. Just. This is really old and I think this one is from 80s, 85, something like that. So it's amazing that the steel is working. But for those people that they collect them, this is a very good collection. Uh, just look at the size. And those that they know that I am, uh, you know, making these videos about these Walkmans. This is my rant about, you know, the different Walkmans, which one is better, which, which design, at what time is good or not. This one was really good because of the size. You could put this actually in your pocket. Not very big, and I assume it suffers, suffered the same faith because people they used to put these in their pockets and it would rub against something all the time so this is as a result of that there is no dent in here you see it's just rubbed off anyhow um, I really like this but unfortunately you know it's old and uh, somehow it needs attention Anyway, let me just put the volume down. Anyway, the price of this, 
going. Some people they are selling this because it's from the older times. They selling this from 50 pounds up to 120 pounds. So my advice to you is, do not buy this more than 40 pounds, because if you don't know how to fix this or change the belt and so on, you are going to have something like a shiny brick in your collection. But if it works and you know is refurbished, why not? Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video and until my next video, take care of yourself and each other and as always, have a great time. I wanted to show you, sorry about this, I wanted to show you some images of inside of this, if I can. I was um, gathering some images of these uh, units. Let me see if I can find that one. Yeah, look at this. This is the inside of this. If you want to change the belt in here, you see this is the headphone and this is the headphone here, okay? You have to take this board off. And the way to do that is just desoldering these two joints and that joint and these five spots here and then you can fold this back to that side and then you have access to the belt let me see if I have the image of the belt oh here look at this this is the belt it takes two belts one in here and one in there and all of that noise that you are hearing is these gears that they are turning around and doing stuff. And especially this one is turning uh, to be ready for the auto reverse and rewind them forward. So this is the inside of this baby. So fully recommend this for the price that I told you under 50 pounds, not more than that at all. 50 pounds should be in mint condition. Anyway, again, take care of yourself and each other. And until my next video, have a great time.